It's fresh for us. Can you say hi? Hey everyone, it's Sigrid and Sprout. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about some games you can play to help with noise desensitization. A couple of things before we get started. First of all, I'm not a professional dog trainer. I'm actually a lawyer, which is probably why I feel compelled to make the statement. Um, but if your dog has serious noise issues and he's like so afraid it's interfering with his quality of life, I would encourage you to contact a professional dog trainer to try to help through those issues. Sprouts um, noise issues were a little bit more manageable or minor or we wanted to do these things preventatively to make sure he never got super scared of noises. Um, but if your dog is really scared, consider working with a professional. Alright, so the idea here is you want to gradually increase your dog's comfort with noises. You want to sort of figure out what his noise threshold is and bring that up. You do not want to just start making loud noises in front of your dog and give him cookies and hope he gets used to it. So basically if your dog is like he can handle noises that are level three, you don't want to just start making a noise that's like a level eight and giving him cookies. You want to make something that's a level four. It's maybe like mildly uncomfortable, a little louder than he loves, but it's not going to scare him. And then you give him the cookies and then he gets really okay with that level four. And once he's good with it, then you sort of make like level five noises. So that's the idea. You can do this a number of different ways, just sort of keeping that in mind. You can make the noises yourself. Or what I like to do is I like to have your dog make the noises because I feel like it gives him a little bit of agency, right? It then becomes a conscious decision for him as to, okay, for me, making this noise is worth getting a cookie. So I'm going to sort of subject myself to this noise. So I kind of like that little subtle distinction between just making noises in front of yourself. It also gives you a chance to sort of check in if your dog is getting too scared because if he's too scared, he's not going to knock the thing over. All right. So the first thing your dog needs to do is know how to knock something over because that's basically the principle of this. The easiest way to do this is just to set up something that's, can you let me get started? <laughs> set up something that's gonna be a little precari wait, precarious for your dog to knock over and then just encourage him to come over and touch it or stick his nose on it or whatever. So that's like really precarious. Okay, hey, good. So I just sort of filled with it until it fell and you would just keep, good. Doing this with your dog until he figures out that he's getting rewarded for knocking something over. Once he does that, you're ready to start playing. You can do this with anything you have in your house. One way you can do it is with noises and containers that shake. Um, start with something soft. This is a plastic container of Epicurean Specialty Lentils Brown. <laughs> start on a carpet as well and good! So that didn't make very much noise at all. He's totally happy to knock it over. So once he's good with that, we're going to try putting it on. Hardwood. Still feeling happy and eager to knock it over. So if you were working with containers and noise, you might then progress to something that makes a little bit more noise, like nails in a plastic container, and then eventually like something like nails in a glass jar that's gonna sort of make increasingly higher, louder noises. Okay. What we like to do also is getting them to knock over books. Uh, bonus points for dog themed books. We have the dog as puppies. You're going to set this up for your dog to knock over. Um, I like to kind of hold it because I don't want him it to fall onto him. That would be a really great way to set us back and get him scared. So I almost sort of just like... <laughs> Look how eager he is to make noises. Come here, can you sit? Can you wait? It's almost like at an angle so I know it's going to fall that way. Okay, go back. Whoops. And then I let it fall and I know it's not going to fall into him. Good. Feeling very good about that noise. So once we know he's feeling good about that, we're gonna try on hardwood. Much louder, but still feeling happy and eager. And so with the books, you would just continue doing that. So like from there, we would progress to Dogs in Vogue, A Century of Canine Chic. Good. Happy dog, knocking it over. We'll try it on hardwood, much louder, but we're feeling good. Um, we're not going to go to the third book because I feel like you guys are getting the hang of it and we don't want to get this to be too boring. But as you can see, he's feeling like happy and good about this. He's like eagerly waiting for me to put the book back up. He's feeling good about this noise. So just sort of use this as a way to check in on how your dog is feeling. If he is doing this and then sort of jumping back a few feet or inches when he hears the noise or like cowering down in anticipation, 
Those could be signs that the current noise level is a little bit too high. And just go back to like the carpet or something to make it a little softer. So use this as a way to check in on how your dog is feeling. Good boy. Can you come take a bow? Because you were such a good demo dog today. Can you take a bow? Oh, you're just showing everyone your butt now. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys with some noise issues. There you go. Take a bow.